CCM complete character modeling course level 2 and part 4 where we will be creating the costume of this character so let's get started okay so today I'm gonna show you that how to create your character costume correctly because mostly people make it uh, the costume separately and then attach to it that method is wrong if you are going to rig your character and it won't be able to, you won't be able to rig it so the correct way is to extract your clothes from your body for example i have to make this t-shirt so i'm gonna select just my model the place that that are on the t-shirt place uh, in my case it's this and I think I have to remove this loop yeah and maybe we can add these these spaces yeah this will help and now I have to press the shift D and right click then P separate select separate selection go to the object mode and we have this thing so now the next thing is uh, go to the edit mode again select all with a and alt s to just scale it outside a little so it's scaling with normal along the normal but in this case we can use it for scaling it outside to add a little dip to it something like this would be fine now what we can do is we can make confirm that what things we really want it so i want that my t-shirt from back a little up something like this and i have to dissolve this edge i can do this thing and x to dissolve this edge now if i just see it's something like this and from the side view i can just match it like this so you can match it something like this and here it shows should be goes a little down also here and yeah something like this would be fine uh, another thing you can do to add a little uh, depth to this place or make this thing close so i would just like to e extrude and now scale it a little now e again extrude scale it a little and some kind of like like this kind of edge would be fine okay the same thing we need, we can do here is to select e extrude scale a little e extrude scale and something like this would be fine uh, same thing can be happen here so let me just first uh, move this thing toward the down a little something like this would be fine and now what i can do is e x s e s and something like this okay <clears throat> the next step is to create my shorts so i'm just selecting this place and shift d right click p to separate the selection and now select all alt s to scale it outside we can move this thing toward the down if you want it and now s z to scale it on z a little to make it straight and we can do the same thing here uh, if you just turn on the individual origin we can do it much better and easy so doing the same thing to achieve this thing simple as that okay the next step is to create the shoes so same things for shoes uh, before that i want to create the socks so first let's create the socks shift p p selection and we have this alt s to scale it a little outside and let's match it with the reference it's almost matched so i would just like to select all e s e s that is pretty easy and the correct process if you want to rig your character later okay now it's time to add the shoes so for the shoes i'll select the body select all this and shift d to duplicate 
copy to separate selection and select all alt s to scale it outside something like this would be fine and now this place scaling this thing a little moving up here and we can add a loop here to this one scale it with z0 and also the down one I would like to scale it with z0 and move this thing toward the down a little and now what we can do is we can add a loop here we just make this thing straight as you can see the shoes are now straight so now we can simply select this e extruded s to scale it move it a little down and we can add a loop here to just to make it something like this okay I think it's a little more so I would like to scale it a little so control plus and now as to scale it now to scale it with y a little so now your this is now equal okay just need to refine this place a little here need a little curve so I would like to select this one move it down here and now it's more like shoes and we can select all e extrude as to scale e extrude as to scale and yeah exactly this thing we can add more detail here uh, as you can see in the reference it's pretty much detail but we can simply what we can do is we can select this and we can delete this thing as you can see we get a hole here and now if I just select all this and without the last one okay I would like to extrude it with down extrude down we get this thing and we can just simply fill this thing if I just turn off this thing so we can see the things clearly so I would like to select this one and this one F and F and same thing here F F and like this <coughs> select all M merge by distance so we get rid of the double vertex that we have and something like this now just turn on this thing and as you can see it's working okay the next step is to create these strips strips or whatever you call it so for that I'm gonna use a curb so shift right click to move the cursor here and go to the curb go to the path curb just scale it down all control a and apply scale and rotation and now just move it here and this one this one this one and something like this if I just see it from this side I have to just rotate it a little here and now if we go to the object data properties come up to the geometry add some depth not that much something like this would be fine and now we go to side view select all shift T here shift T here maybe we can do one more if you like so mm, this one yeah Something like this would be fine and now one more and that would be the two circle one so if I just shift s just move the cursor here and add a circle instead of path rotate it with the 90 in the x direction scale it out here and now 
I would just like to do some kind of this thing. Okay, and edit mode, select all, shift D, duplicate this thing. And with the cursor, we can actually rotate this thing. We can move it here. And if you just scale it something like this, and let's see how it goes. So I would like to add some depth again. Yeah, something like this. And if I just rotate it and move it here, we can get something better. Also from the side view it shouldn't be like straight so I'm just moving some vertex here yeah this looks much much better now okay and we can just join these two with ctrl j and ctrl a to apply all transform and come up here and add a mirror modifier and that's how we can mirror this thing as okay, simple as that okay so that's it that's it how to create basic clothes for it and in the next video we will be unwrapping this character and then we will be creating the hair particles creating this kind of hair adding the eyebrows and refining all this character so thank you for watching and see you in the next video